Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, apologize, I, I'm just filming this on my phone. I don't have my mic, so I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, but it's the only way I could get you guys uh, the pick tonight on time. Um, probably be, After the way I picked yesterday, it'd probably be better if I could get you the pick after I watched the first half hour of the game. But um, Yesterday was ugly, guys. Finished 1-3. and three. Um, Lost the Sunday night game. And... Yesterday reminded me why I kind of stopped watching football. I mean, I've I've been I've been betting on sports for like a long time, like a long, long, long time, and I, you know, within reason, I know what my ROI is going to be. I, I know what my you know win percentage is going to be, give or take. Like I mean, it, it's going to vary, and you know, occasionally it's a little lower, a little higher, but I approximately know what it's going to be. So at the end of the day. You know, I, I look at sports betting, as I've said before, guys, as a business. If I don't watch the game, the results are still going to come in, and I'm still going to get paid win or lose. So, um, I mean, I, I love sports. It's just, you know, when you do this every single day, day in and day out, you can't watch sports every day. And I stopped watching football for a while, maybe about two and a half, three years, um, maybe even more, I don't know. But I stopped watching football. I just found it to be like, you know, too emotionally taxing and yesterday reminded me so I'm still probably gonna watch a bit of football but the, the reason I'm watching football again guys like I'm sweating these games with you guys again I'm giving out the picks and I really I want I want you guys to win and um, you know I, I find it it's weird it's like I haven't been nervous about sports like betting on sports it's you know I win or I lose and that's it I haven't been nervous about betting on sports in like years um, where I'm where I'm watching the game um, and actually getting like excited and I think like you know thank you for you guys kind of reinvigorated me I get excited to watch football again um, but yesterday wasn't fun and we had uh, we lost the ball like fumbled it or or three interception nine times yesterday compared to nothing that's that's insane we had two interceptions seven fumbles now we didn't lose all the fumbles but we, we had seven fumbles in the in the three games like I'm not talking I'm not even talking about the game with the over under in three games we had two interceptions seven fumbles and the teams we bet against you know how many they had no interceptions and no fumbles Ugh. ugly so it's pretty hard to win your bets when you're turning the ball over like that but anyway so that's that's football as I'm sure you guys know and uh you know, we'll get our days where we have turnovers and, you know, they work in our favor. We just don't remember those days, but we do remember nine turnovers or nine. They didn't turn the ball over nine times. They fumbled or threw an interception nine times, but I think they got a few of those fumbles back. So anyways, guys, enough about that. That's my rant. Um, but we're going to get right into today's pick. So today, Monday Night Football, um, again, I'm going to do this. I... I don't have everything written down here, but again, uh, fairly confident I've been through this uh, quite a few times now. Um, we do not have a total play. Um, it was just, just too close. We don't have a total play, but we do have a play on the actual game itself. And we like the Jets plus 10. So the Jets plus 10. Um, first and foremost, it's a, nice, it's a contrarian play. Um, you are seeing, uh, you're seeing as always, a lot of public money on New England. But right now, there's, uh, and this is just checked it like a few minutes ago, there's 37% of bets on the Jets and 48% of the money. There's Steam play. Um, we like that, guys. Again, you know, it, it's a contrarian play. Anytime we go into like, you know, a Monday night football game, we want to be on the side of Vegas. And I know some of you guys have said, oh, you know, you just betting against the public is not a winning strategy. I agree. If you just bet every game against the public, you know, you, you, you might, you know, over the course of the year make a little bit of money, but it's not going to be like, I mean, I use that as like a small part of, hold on, guys, light is bright. Um, I use that like as a small part. But, I mean, given a choice between betting with the public or betting against the public, I want to bet against the public every time. So that's like, you know, that's one of those factors. So we like the money distribution. Um, you know, getting 10 points at home, Monday Night Football game, um, we like that. I mean, teams do not like to get blown out at home on a big stage. Um, further to that, I'll turn my light on here. I don't know if that helps. 
All right, fur further to that, guys, we have a number of indicators, okay? Number of indicators, and one of the indicators we have today is a super indicator. If you guys have watched my videos before, super indicators are indicators that um, large sample size, but they hit like really, really high numbers. So we're talking 65% plus numbers. Um, this one's actually hitting over 70%. So that is like a very, very strong indicator. I think since I've started doing these videos, I've had like four super indicators now. Four, and I, I think we've gone three and one on our super indicators. But anyways, um, the last one, the last one I gave out, we lost. But um, either way, guys, super indicator, very powerful. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, we are going to take uh, New York Jets plus ten, guys. So that's our bet for today. New York Jets plus ten. Get it in. Uh, again, apologize for the quality of video, but is what it is. So I will talk to you guys later, and as always, have a very lucky day.